Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive channel. I wanted to talk about an interesting topic here and I'm sure some of you all know about it, but it's definitely a topic that needs to be revisited. And the topic is about Usher's career and his women. Now, I wanna first talk about Usher and his relationship with the singer Chili. Now, Chili did post this on Instagram. She said, our souls are so in love, but our humans keep getting in the way. And that was a quote from Zach Gray. And she also said in her caption, dumb humans, hashtag soulmates. And in her post, she tagged Usher. Now, the Shade Room was able to catch this screenshot before she untagged Usher, but Chili wasn't slick because she clearly was sending this message to her ex, Usher. Even though it has been years since Usher and Chili have been together, I do find it interesting that Chili is still somewhat expressing some feelings for Usher. Now, she didn't say she loved him, but she did say that they were soulmates, meaning they belong together. However, a lot of circumstances and even some other people got in the way of their perfect love. Now, to a lot of people, Usher and Chili were considered the perfect couple. They both were singers, they were famous, and they were very good looking. So people really loved them together. And another thing, Usher's relationship with Chili gave him a boost in popularity. Now, the time that Usher was dating Chili, he was already big and he was on the brink of becoming one of the biggest pop stars in music. At the time, Usher already released his multi-platinum selling album, My Way, which sold over 7 million records worldwide and had hits like My Way, You Make Me Wanna, and Nice and Slow. So there was some anticipation for Usher's next album, which would be the album that Usher would showcase his relationship with Chili. In 2001, Usher did start dating Chili, and it was actually a big deal in music because Chili was a part of the groundbreaking, multi-selling girl group TLC. So the fact that she was dating the hottest male singer in R&B music did draw a lot of attention and it was the perfect PR situation. Chili and Usher actually became relationship goals and Usher did not hesitate to flaunt his relationship with Chili in his videos like You Remind Me and You Got It Bad. Hey, this is Chili. How y'all doing? We are on the set of Hi. Usher's video, You Remind Me. Love. And uh, can I ask you a question? Not just that you know, like, why did you choose me to be your video? Well, I mean, isn't it obvious? I feel like the most beautiful woman walking. And I would have a chance to make a, a scene. I have to say, you know, Damn. I don't normally dress like this, but I said, that's why I you, put her in my video. Only for right? you, Usher. Damn, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I usually don't show all this little stuff and everything, but for you, this time. Okay. We got a video to shoot. Thank you, peace. Bye. <laughs> Usher's relationship with Chili was a topic of conversation for a lot of Usher fans. Even though Chili was older than Usher, people loved her with him. The relationship actually worked in Usher's favor, although it is advised for male artists to stay single so they could appeal to their female fan base. It's not uncommon for male musicians to date other high profile women, but if they do date celebrity women, it has to be someone that their fan base actually likes and Usher's fan base loved Chili. She helped give him some great publicity for his album 8701, and the album went on to sell over 8 million records worldwide. Now, of course, the success of the album was due to the hits that Usher had, and also it was due to Usher's own popularity. But him being with Chili helped him as well because the fans loved her. Not only that, Usher loved her and his mother loved her. So obviously their relationship was meant to last, right? However, it didn't quite work that way. The relationship between Usher and Chili did not last as long as some fans hoped it would. Even though Usher and Chili's relationship was cute, it wasn't supposed to be a forever thing. It was good for publicity, but Usher was a young man who was in his prime and women were throwing themselves at him left and right. So he definitely was not ready to settle down. Chili, however, was upset with how things ended with her and Usher, and she decided to go on radio and put him on blast. <laughs> I want to read you the latest rumor about you and Usher. And they hit me with the Usher single now. And I'm like, damn, I didn't know we were like telling everybody yet. So I was just trying to keep it cool, and then I just lost it. 
let me set the record straight. Usher did the ultimate no-no to me, and I will never be with him ever again. Someone cheats one time, you don't wait around to see if they're going to do it again. So there is no Usher in Chile, and it will never be Usher in Chile again. Usher's infidelity became a huge topic of conversation, and the chaos actually spilled onto Usher's next album, which is called Confessions. And a lot of fans assumed that the subject matter in the album was based off of Usher's infidelity in his relationship with Chili. But that wasn't quite true. It was actually based off of Jermaine Dupri's relationship. However, the narrative was more interesting when it was about Usher and Chili. Now, Usher's Confessions album went on to be one of the biggest albums of that whole decade. It had hits like Yeah, Confessions, Let It Burn, Caught Up, and more. The album Confessions went diamond in the US alone, which is the equivalent to 10 million records, and it went on to sell 20 million records worldwide. This actually solidified Usher as the biggest male pop and R&B artist of his generation. Usher being newly single was also helpful for his image because women loved Usher, so he had to be single to appease his fan base. After Usher broke up with Chili, he moved on to dating models like Naomi Campbell and Aisha Brightwell. However, Usher took his fans for a loop when he decided to marry his stylist, Tamika Foster. Now, a lot of Usher's fans really did not care for Tamika. They did not care for her image, and they did not like the fact that Usher was getting married to her. There was a lot of negativity surrounding Usher and Tamika's relationship. A lot of people did not like them together because they felt like Tamika's image wasn't up to par. People preferred Usher to be with somebody who was more classically attractive, like Chili. Now, Tamika is definitely not ugly. She's actually a pretty woman, but she did not fit a lot of people's standard of what is considered fabulous or glamorous. And sadly, a lot of the fans bullied Tamika because she didn't fit their standards. Um, I know that I got super paranoid about everything because the fans were so... Um, Judgmental? Uh, Every Usher fan has an opinion. I was the ugliest thing. Well, first of all, I was a man for a long time. I was like... <laughs> I don't understand how I'm carrying this baby. Like, can you just... <laughs> so I was doing, I was pregnant and I was a man. Um, I was a welfare frauder. I stole from the government, appar apparently. Okay. What else did I do? My mom didn't have teeth, which I never noticed. I was just an ugly moose thing. <laughs> so it was really bad. Like, they said everything. I mean, I'm just thinking of all the things they said. I can't remember it all. They were pretty, they were pretty hard on me. Usher's fans weren't the only ones who had an issue with Tamika. Usher's mother, Johnetta, did not like her either. And during her sit-down interview with Oprah, she revealed that she refused to attend Tamika and Usher's wedding because she did not approve of their relationship. Tamika allegedly caused a rift between Usher and his mother to the point that Usher ended up firing his mother as his manager. Now, reports were saying that Usher fired his mother to appease his wife, Tamika Foster. Usher revealed in his Behind the Music documentary that he fired his mother because he wanted his mother to act as his mother and not his manager. This wasn't the best move career-wise for Usher because his mother Johnetta played a crucial part in protecting his image and played a crucial part in his success. But Usher's career would be mainly affected because of his marriage to Tamika. Now, like I said before, in the music industry, male entertainers are advised to stay single. If they are in a relationship, it has to be with somebody that their fans approve of. Usher's fan base did not approve of Tamika, nor did they approve of Usher getting married in the first place. And in a lot of ways, this did affect his career. When Usher released his fifth studio album, Here I Stand, the reception wasn't exactly what his team had hoped for. His singles like Love in This Club and Moving Mountains should have been much bigger than they were. However, a lot of people lost interest in Usher after he got married. And it's crazy to think about, but yes, it's true. And of course, that wasn't the only factor that affected his album sales. 
At that point, Usher hadn't released an album in four years, and during his hiatus, his competitors like Justin Timberlake, Chris Brown, and Neo were able to take over his lane. Also, the music industry became more digital, which did affect how artists sell albums. Now, Usher's Confessions album sold close to 20 million records worldwide. However, his Here I Stand album sold 1.3 million records worldwide, which was very underwhelming for an artist like Usher. And a lot of people said that Usher's record sales were affected because of his marriage to Tamika. Now his marriage to Tamika did not last long after that. They did end up getting a divorce because of some of the pressures from the outside and also Usher's own infidelity contributed to their divorce. Tamika was upset that Usher had relations with one of her bridesmaids. First of all, were you faithful to her? No. Did you have uh, a relationship or sex with her bridesmaid? I did uh, have uh, exchanges with her. Now this was the bridesmaid that Usher was messing with and it was later revealed that Usher gave her herpes, at least according to some documents that leaked online. And Usher had to pay her $1.1 million in a settlement, allegedly. But that's besides the point. Anyway, after Usher got a divorce from Tamika, his music career did pick up again. In fact, his album Raymond vs. Raymond sold more than his album Here I Stand, but Usher still wasn't able to achieve the same amount of success that he had during his Confessions era. But Usher was smart enough to pursue other business ventures and make money elsewhere. But the overall point is, when you think about it, Usher's career was affected when he got married. And I can't help but think how things would have been different if he stayed with Chili. Even though they have been broken up for 16 years, Chili still has shown that she has a special place for Usher in her heart. Do you uh, miss being <laughs> being in that relationship at all? Um, we, we, we did have a good relationship. I mean, it, it as every relationship, you have your issues. Yeah. And, um, but I don't know, I think it was kind of like, Wrong timing. Wrong timing. I wish that we were able to really work out our issues. Because if we had met later, this would be a totally different behind the music. <laughs> and what Chili wants would be titled What Chili Has. Also last year, Chili responded to a tweet that said Usher and Chili were a pretty couple. And she said, facts. I do find it interesting that Chili herself admitted that Usher was her soulmate even after all of these years. And it kind of makes sense because Chili always had an extensive list when it came to her perfect man. She had a reality show called What Chili Wants and on her show, she couldn't quite find her perfect man. He has to be gorgeous. He has to have a great sense of humor, sensitive, very charming, no gut, washboard stomach. He can't drink, he can't smoke. He can't eat pork. A very, very important part, he has to be packing. But how, how big we talking though? Huge. Now I'm realizing the reason why Chili couldn't find her perfect man is because deep down inside, she still feels connected to Usher. And I have to admit, they were a great couple. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.